What's happening fellas, we're at the North American Truck Show here. The best rigs in the entire United States of America are here today. And this one right here, just one best in show, people's choice, and you can see why. This thing is absolutely off the hook. This was built from brand new as a glider. It's got a built Cat 6NZ in it. There's a crowd around it once it thins out a little bit. I'll show you that, but look at the interior. Absolutely stunning. Custom stereo, custom dash. This was built on a glider, brand new in 2012. It's got the Bostrom air ride seats, the wood paneling on the bottom, stainless. Just a beautiful piece. Now his son, Kendall, is a professional aluminum polisher, and he did all the polishing on the tanks. And wait till you see this trailer. It is absolutely off the hook. I can't say that I've ever seen anything that, uh, that tops this as far as the fit and finish. Uh, he's got over... I'll have to ask him again, but I think he said he's got like 3,000, was it 7,000 hours? I don't remember, thousands of hours in the polishing. They have their own in-house paint shop. They laid down this, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, this gorgeous metallic blue paint job on the frame. All the running gear is polished aluminum, custom lights. It's just absolutely stunning. Everything's done in-house. They do the painting, they do the polishing, they do the engine building. They're a one-stop shop. They won the People's Choice Award. And now guys, this is not a trailer queen right here. This, this truck was not only driven here, but he goes out three, four weeks out on the road delivering custom special uh, mixes of sand here. I'll let him explain that part of it, but uh, not here to take part, here to take over. Todd, the owner, is a second generation trucker and custom truck builder. His son Kendall is a third generation. Their dad is 79. The whole family's involved. The whole family's here. And that's the kind of effort it takes. If you had to pay a shop to do this kind of work, it would be obscenely expensive. There's thousands of hours of custom polishing, custom fabricating from the frame up on a brand new glider, all the custom bolt colors. And look look at the look at the engine. You guys, this is a working diesel engine. Twin turbo caterpillar 6NZ. I believe that's a 15.2 liter. Just to put that into perspective, this motor weighs about 3,000 pounds, which is, well, a 5.9 Cummins or a 6.7 Ford in your pickup weighs about 1,000 pounds, so it's three times the weight. This one, people's choice here today. Uh, this event used to pay $45,000 for first place, but uh, times are a little tough, so there wasn't uh, a lot of money at stake this time, but the pride of being people's choice really there's no politics involved in people's choice this is the uh the uh the one that um everybody liked the most and that's probably the most prestigious award look at the bumper on this thing it's got to be two inches off the ground front suspension is airbagged you need to lower it when you park it's a ride it's got the chrome coil over shocks just absolutely stunning. I was talking to Todd and his son Kendall, and this is a forever truck. This is this is a truck that well, you can't get gliders anymore. They stopped making them, and uh, this is this this truck basically can't be replaced because they don't make gliders anymore. You'd have to buy a new truck with an engine, pull the engine, and and it's actually it's not even legal to do that, from what I hear. Uh, it has to have the same emissions control in there. Look at the pedals on this thing. Those are Crown Royal bottle covers right there. Now, after three generations, they've been coming to these shows forever. They know how to not only build the truck from scratch, but how to maintain it, how to drive it, how to make money with it. True Pride of America trucking company here that uh, not only takes pride in their achievements, by showing the truck, they also will build one like this for you if you want. They offer full truck building services, polishing, painting. They're a one-stop shop. The quality of the paint job on this thing is just off the hook. Love the color. The gear ratio on this is a 355. The wheelbase is a 313 inch. Jay Farrell Custom Trucks did the air ride on the front. The trailer is a 2015 Mack Pneumatic 1050 cube. 
eight foot two inch spread axle on the back, on the back, fully polished and painted RMC air lids. Just a beautiful piece. Talladega fiberglass did the fenders. The entire paint job was done by Chad Walker. It was built by the Keystone crew. That's a, that's a, the staff and family. Todd, Kendall, and the rest of the guys at Keystone wheel polishing. Look at the shine on these babies. So Todd, this thing is absolutely stunning and it's it's not your first rodeo, obviously. You've been doing this for how long now? I've been doing it now for about 20 years. 20 years, and uh, you started with your pops coming to the shows, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. And he was here, here today, wasn't he? Yep, my dad was here today, yep, he was here. We was here 20 years ago and he won first place and I won best of show 20 years later. Uh, like I said, not your first rodeo. <laughs> no, no. Nope. So uh, one of your competitors told me you guys were the heavy hitters, some of the heavy hitters in the show, so I wanted to come over and talk to you. And uh, That was yesterday, and then uh, Proof in the Puddings, so the, the People's Choice Award you got on this truck, and I kind of went over the, the, the build spec on it and everything, but uh, how many hours total do you think between painting, polishing, everything you got into this truck? Because it's, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, probably 2,000. 2,000? Yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't take long to, the, the time adds up when you, when you turn out this, this kind of a product. Just beautiful. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you or wants to have their aluminum polish like this, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, you can call me on my cell phone number. It's 814-233-7170. Uh, the name of the business is Keystone Wheel Polishing in Somerset, Pennsylvania. We have a, a website. We have a Facebook page. And you can contact. There's several numbers on there that you can contact, and we'll get you set up and get you polished. Awesome. So, uh, in addition to the polishing, you guys also offer painting and other type of customizing services, right? Yes, we offer sandblasting of frames, painting of trucks, uh, painting of trailers. Pretty much a one-stop shop. If you want, if somebody wants to go this wild, this is something you can turn out for for one of your clients, right? Yes, and we we uh, have different people we buy chrome for. We have a. We can get you anything for a truck that you need or want. One-stop shop. One-stop shop. Well, thanks for sharing your rig with me. I really appreciate it. I was hoping to get your son uh, in Kendall. the video. I know he was, went over to his truck, so we'll pause it for a second, wait till he comes back. Well, unfortunately, Kendall had to go take care of something that uh, happened to his truck. Uh, one of the bus drivers backed into his truck, so he's dealing with that situation, unfortunately. Sadly, at events like this, sometimes that happens, but... This is the award they won today, Louisville, Kentucky. Best of show, people's choice, the most prestigious award you could possibly win here. Um, just beautiful. Even the uh, paint job on the trophy matches the truck. Coincidence? I don't know, but uh, just an absolutely stunning truck. Unfortunately, Kendall had to deal with that. This happened to his truck, so he's not gonna be here to uh, comment on the two thousands of hours of polishing he put into it, but you get the idea, it's a family uh, passion for creating the nicest trucks. Not only in the United States of America, but it's gotta be one of the nicest trucks in the world. Thanks for watching, and as always, God bless the United States of America.